Hey you guys, just a quick video of the donkeys that we have that are available for homes. Uh, this is uh, one of our geldings, just recently gelded. Uh, he is swayback and we do have him on a special diet, hoping to improve uh, weight gain that would hopefully improve uh, that top line. And he's super sweet. Come here, baby. Super sweet. He gets along with others. Uh, it looks like he has a BLM brand here, but usually it's bigger than that, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, the only time he is aggressive towards others is at feed time, and that's why he's alone here to get all the nutrition that he needs. Uh, then we have this one. This is Lipador, and he's recently gelded, and he's super sweet. And I wanted to show you he has an old injury. Uh, come here. Come here, baby to his mouth where it evidently wasn't treated and the skin grew over to the side. Uh, but he is a super sweet, super sweet, uh, recently gelded donkey. And this one is Sandy. And you can see he's recently gelded too. Um, he's not really approachable, doesn't want to be touched, uh, but he can be gentled for sure. Um, he's a sweet boy just not used to being touched or handled. And these two are on special um, grain right now to gain weight, separated from the others and they're sharing a round bell. And so this sweet guy is a BLM gelding. I'll just go through here. Hi, sweetie. This is one of our Jennies uh, that she actually came in with this halter on and she is super sweet, super sweet. And, uh, She's possibly bred. Uh, she looks pretty big and uh, she doesn't have a bag. It's not anytime soon, but uh, see if I can get her to back up. Back up, baby. Come on. You wanna walk with me? Come on. Leads around, even though I don't have a lead rope. And you can see by her belly uh, that she looks possibly bred. She's super cute, cute, cute. She's 44 inches. And this one came in with her from the same lot. That's a Jenny, the dark gray. Uh, they're both 44 inches. Uh, this Jenny came in possibly bred. Um, she's a, a little bit taller. And then that one walking off is the BLM John. And then uh, this is also a John. And he has been handled and haltered and led, uh, but he's in with the group. So they all kind of act like that. Um, when they're together, they just seem to act up a little bit. But there's that group. And so let me go over here. I have one more that was recently gelded. And, uh, oh, that bar's off. I need to fix that. Um, uh, one more that's recently gelded. And his name, we named him Rico like Rico Suave, <laughs> and he is super sweet and usually easy to approach. I'm not gonna go in with him because I'm going in and out of each paddock. Uh, he did have a larger scrotum and uh, larger testicles. And so uh, we're, we are keeping fly spray on him and hosing him down, uh, but he actually is easy to handle. Now he does have, we've had his hooves trimmed three times and we've been trying to get a farrier to come out and we tried to get one to come on sedation day to trim his feet because we wanted a good trim while he was completely sedated. And uh, that didn't happen. And so we've got them. And then um, our new intakes who really aren't quite ready. Uh, we've got this mama, this sorrel mama who we're waiting to get an x-ray of her shoulder. Uh, this shoulder looks out and we wanna see what's actually going on with that. And then we have the uh, mammoth baby boy that came in with her. He's almost as tall as her. And I think he was four or five months uh, on the Elkhart auction when we saved him uh, about a week ago. And then we have this Jenny who is, she is a rideable Jenny. They rode her through the ring, and she's super sweet. 
Uh, and evidently I need to put hay over here for her because that this is becoming her favorite spot. And they're over there eating the hay there. So we have those. And then we just took in the two babies that will be available eventually. Uh, they just came in and they're very sick. And so they're not available just yet. Uh, they're about, I'm guessing about four months old. Uh, they were posted as yearlings. You're so cute. And so uh, they're fixing to get their uh, medical treatment right now. That's who we have needing homes.